Welcome to Fairhome Farm. We're located in Woodstock, Connecticut. My name is Erica. I'm going to show you around our farm. Uh, we were established in 1920. So next month, we're going to be 101 years that we've been here. Um, so we raise over 760 cows and 420 of them are the milking cows. So we um, started having group housing about 12 years ago. We raise our calves in groups where they're all the similar age. It's kind of like a grade level where these guys are would probably be the equivalent of first grade. They're getting weaned off of milk right now slowly. So they're getting grain and hay as much as they want to eat every day. And we give them a little bit of milk in the morning and a little bit of milk at night. And they're very curious. These girls are all about seven to nine weeks old in here. So when they're together in groups like this, they'll actually make a buddy that they could keep for life. We've seen calves that have made friends when they're this age, and then we see them together milking when they're two, three, four years old. So when calves are born, they drink about four quarts or two bottles in the morning, two bottles at night. And then when they get into these group pens, they're usually about two weeks old. Um, and they're all together between two and four weeks old, and they'll drink up to two gallons. So we clean these pens out every week, sometimes twice a week if it's a little messier, um, to keep them clean, because it's really important to keep them in an area where they're clean and they're not exposed to a lot of bacteria. So we try to make sure that they're nice and healthy that way. Um, if you notice on the side of these barns, we have um, the curtains all the way up now, but the sides are open. So right now we're in summer and it's kind of warm. So it's nice to have the air and the breeze going through. We have a fan running, um, but we also live in New England and it can get very cold in the winter. So we'll shut the curtains down. We even close down the front. And so when there's a snowstorm, you wouldn't even know it in here. It's really nice. And then we give them extra bedding and they even get little calf jackets, which you'll get to see later. When the calves move into this pen, they're about two weeks old and they're not used to have you this feeder yet. So every day, twice a day, we bring them over and help them learn how to use it. And we train them. So these little teats here are attached to straws that are inside of a barrel inside and they can drink whenever they want. Did you know cows could suck milk up with a straw? It's really important when a calf is born that we give them what's called colostrum. They're actually born without an immune system, so they're different than us humans. Um, it's really important that they receive colostrum within four hours of being born. Um, and then we move them to these hutches. They're also, they receive vaccinations right when they're first born. And they're moved into these little houses, which are called hutches. And they're placed individually or by themselves so that they're not exposed to other um, calves and other bacteria that can maybe get them sick because they're just brand new. Even though they look big and they're walking around and they're really alert, these girls are all under two weeks old. And you'll see they have ear tags. They get those. This is like their name and they'll get this right when they're first born so we know who they are and we can keep track of them as they grow up in our herd. Another cool fact about cows that some people don't know is that they're born with teeth. You see those right there? Our calves, once they move out of the group housing system and they're about nine weeks old, we move them to our heifer facility, which is about a mile down the road. And that's where they're going to stay until they're about two years old and almost ready to have their next calf. So they get put on a different diet where they're on a silage, a mixed diet, which you'll see when we go up and see the cow barn. Um, and then they'll move. But the thing that stays the same is that they'll stay in groups where they're about the same size and same age. And they'll transition up until they come back to our farm here and have their baby and start milking. Um, so these, this is what's called our up close barn. So everybody under this roof today, all these girls are all within three weeks of calving. So the importance of putting them in their own pen is that they get a different diet. They get fed differently right before they're going to have a calf. We want to make sure they're in really good health before they have that baby. Because it's kind of a lot of work, not just to grow a baby, but also to... Um, calve and then start milking. So the cows get to have their babies right here in this pack. Um, they'll lay down, they'll find a spot. They'll usually get up and down quite a bit as they're getting into the labor process. And then they'll have their calves right here. What's really nice is we have our barns and our house are all right around here. So we can actually see if a baby is born. Um, we're check these girls about every hour all day long, um, even late at night. Um, and what's nice is they can, what the difference about here is there's not beds that they lay in, so they can lay out. We even see them like sprawled right out, so they're nice and comfortable. Um, especially when you're that pregnant, it's really important to be very comfortable. So after the baby's born, we're, gonna, we're going to take it and move it to one of the hutches, and then the cow will move up and go to the milking herd and get milk. Okay, you get it. Thank you. 
So we milk our cows and robots, and this cow right here is having the machine attached to her. As you can see, she doesn't mind at all. Um, it doesn't hurt them. They actually enjoy it because they're getting a treat when they come in. Every time they come into the robot, they get a little bit of grain. And each cow gets a different amount depending on how much milk she's giving or how many days it's been since she's had her last calf. So the machine has like a gentle vacuum on it that it pulls the milk out with. And it takes about seven minutes for each cow to get milked. Um, it depends um, on how much milk she's giving. Um, so the reason that we decided to put robots in is because we wanted more time to be able to take care of our cows. So we let the machine do the milking part and also it lets the cows get milked whenever they want. So our robots run about 22 hours a day. So if a cow decides at one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning, she wants to get milked, she can walk right in and get milked. And it will wash two times a day too, just to keep everything nice and clean. Uh, but it allows her to decide what she wants to do with her schedule. And cows really like routine. They like to do the same thing every single day. So what's nice about the robot is it does the same. It attaches the unit the same every single day that she walks into that stall. So it depends, each cow, it depends how much time she takes her to milk. Some will take only three or four minutes, some take 10. On average, each cow takes about seven minutes to milk. And then she's free to do whatever she wants the rest of the day. She could get milked a couple times a day, or she can spend the rest of her day laying in the stall. It's really neat. Cows only sleep for about four hours a day, but they need to lay down for up to 11 hours a day. So they like their rest. Um, they can also take time to eat and drink and socialize with their buddies. So our farm, we've chosen to use a lot of technology because it helps us take better care of our cows. So traditionally a person would be milking cows, but we chose to put robots in so that the cows could get milked more often. And we also use a feed pusher to keep the feed pushed up to the cows uh, and the Fitbits that help us take better care of them to know how they're feeling every day. This is our milk tank. This is where the milk is stored uh, before the milk truck comes to pick it up every day. He comes every day of the year, even on holidays, Christmas, hot days, he always has to come pick it up. Um, so he'll use this stick right here to measure how much is in there. So today, this is where our milk level is at. Usually we're shipping about 30,000 pounds every day. Right now the tank is washing so that we can make it clean for the next time we put milk into it. And it does that every day after he comes. So inside this milk tank, the milk is stored at 37 degrees. It has to be kept that temperature all the time. And it's even agitated, so it keeps it mixed up. So when the milk is harvested from the cow, it comes out the same temperature of the cow, which is about 102 degrees. So we don't want to milk, drink it at that temperature. So we cool the milk down with what's called a plate cooler, which is a really fancy way we put water next to the milk to cool it down and that will cool it down to about 60 degrees and then it'll come in here and this milk tank will cool it down to 37 degrees. So the first thing that happens when the milk truck arrives, he backs right into this spot right up next to the milk tank and he goes inside and he takes a little sample of milk and what he's going to do with that sample is he's going to bring it to the milk plant and before they even offload our milk there, they're going to test it. They test for bacteria and for antibiotics. There's a whole bunch of tests we need to pass before they can unload that milk. So welcome to our milking barn. We built this barn about 10 years ago. Um, and this is where all the milking cows live. So you can see the stalls back there. That's where they're laying down. They're actually laying on sand. So it's kind of like a beach vacation for them every day. And the reason we use sand is because it doesn't hold a lot of bacteria. So it keeps their udders clean, which is where their milk is produced. And then right here, you can see this is their feed. This is what they eat every day. This is called a TMR, which is a total mixed ration. It's a combination of corn and grass. We even give them vitamins and minerals and even some grain in there and they love it. They eat about 120 pounds per cow per day. And they also drink a lot of water. Did you know if you fill up a bathtub, which our parents never let us do, but if we fill the bathtub all the way up, that's how much one cow drinks in one day. We don't just take this feed and put it together and decide what to feed them. We actually have nutritionists who designs what's called a ration, which is a fancy word for recipe, to tell us what to feed our cows. So these girls are getting a diet that's really good for milking to help them make milk. And then the girls that are in the up close barn that are ready to have their babies, they have a different diet. And then the heifers, which are growing to become cows that are this age, they're getting a different diet too. So we follow what her recommendations are for nutrients and what requirements the cow needs. And then we feed it out. So these are cow brushes. So we give them these cow brushes, which they love. They're actually straight when we buy them and you can see how much they're used because they're starting to be a little funny shaped. 
But as you can see, this, this girl is loving. It's like a soft little bristle to it. Um, and it gets their extra hair off or sand that might be on their back. And the, we have two of these in each pen and they're usually running all the time. And they can use them whenever they want. Oh, look at that, scratching that itch. So cow comfort is a, definitely a top priority here at our farm. And that's because the happier a cow is, the more milk she's gonna produce and the longer she's gonna live and the healthier she's gonna be. So some ways that we do that, we have the vets come in and take care, of, help us take care of the cows. We have the nutritionist that designs the ration and we have employees that take really good care of our cows. Just in this barn alone, they have sand bedding, which is comfortable and cool in the summer. They have fans that are running all the time if it's over 70 degrees, which keeps a nice breeze through here and keeps them comfortable. And we also have high sides on our barn, so it lets a lot of air, natural air ventilation come through. And we also have our brushes that they can groom themselves on. And even this feed pusher that's keeping feed up to them. All these things help keep our cows healthy and producing milk for us and you. So you'll notice that our cows look like they're wearing necklaces. Well, they're not just necklaces, they're actually Fitbits. So we invested in this technology about eight years ago and it helps us keep track of what our cows are doing every day. So it keeps a record in our computer of it, how much she's moving around. So we can see if today, if she's not moving around as much as yesterday, is she not feeling good? Is one of her feet bothering her? Or maybe she's not walking around as much? So we'll we're really excited that you've decided to do the Adopt-A-Calf uh, program and thanks for choosing our farm.